We're here with Chad Ashley Vandenberg, San Diego, California, middle of the cosmos, and just extremely blessed to have Chad's association down here today. We're on Raw Food Stories, Ooh. and as you can see by the glow of his face <laughs> and the divine light emanating from his eyes, look at that, and the just you know incredible, uh, incredible presence. Chad's raw. Go raw. Chad, Chad's all raw love, and he's and he's going to share his raw raw food story with us right now. Beautiful. I'm I'm an indigo human, therefore I wear no labels, and to be very precise, I'm 98.6. <laughs> And therefore, I'm neither cooked nor raw, but everything I put in my mouth is raw. Because if I were to eat animals, well, that'd be a whole other story. They'd be 98.6 or whatever their temperature is. But the plants I eat have a different form of life force. It's cold fusion life force. Plants are powerful. Plants have the most potent relationship with the planet. They're the fundamental transmuters of energy into forms that are metabolizable by the human and I've done a lot of research and discovered that chemistry, physics, quantum physics, all the sciences converge towards a picture that shows that there's a certain set of principles, put them into place and all of a sudden what we think is possible inside the body and our mind, our emotions, what we live into the world totally transforms. I didn't come to this just like, you know, out of like the blue but rather it was a journey through challenge that made me search and find these principles. So for me, I'm on Mountain Dew, Pizza Hut pizza, eating the standard American diet, going to town. Didn't know it at the time, my bodies were acidified, my bodies were, you know, my, my cells, my ligaments, my bones, my muscles were not at peak performance because I was, you know, pretty acidic. And as a gymnast at the time, I broke my leg um, I had a bone spur sticking out the side. I didn't have a doctor, you know, didn't have insurance. Um, it healed up wrong. I was on crutches for three months. I didn't think I was going to walk for the rest of my life. And I got on a track where I said, okay, either I'm going to solve this or sayonara, because I'm not going to sit around, be in pain and misery for the rest of my life. And, you know, I got, okay, from that place I found rare trace elements. And I wasn't raw, I wasn't eating all raw yet, but just putting in the minerals allowed my mind to expand to a place where I started considering things that I thought was kind of weird before, like veganism. It actually brought me to a place where I began exploring. I saw very clearly the life force and how it connected in every living being and made a concrete choice never to eat anything with a face ever again. And uh, I realized that things that have eyes are actually um, ways that the universe sees itself, looks out into the world and engages in relationship. Just as you wouldn't eat your mother or your father or your cousin just because they're a little bit less related down the line. Our animal brothers and sisters are also related to us in certain ways. Not to make it wrong to eat our family or our brothers or sisters or our animals, but what is useful if we want to feel good mentally, emotionally, physically and have optimum you know, physical functioning. I discovered that the most, the, the, the longest living people, the strongest people, the people with the most endurance, whether they were athletes, no matter what the category that they were engaged in, when they started eating a vegan diet, that alone, endurance statistically goes through the roof. Vegan athletes, endurance through the roof. Then I discovered, oh, you can only do that so long because the heat and the food destroys destroys some of some some of the building blocks and what happens when we don't destroy those building blocks are they really that valuable did we really need them turns out you don't need them if you only want to live 70 to 90 years and die a disease do what you do do what you always done you get you know you get what the rest of society's been get which is 70 to 90 years die a disease and um, the more I saw these people that were living a hundred 130, 140, 150 years old, discovering cultures where this was commonplace standard and that they were glowing, smiling, and that people who were already challenged with their health, when they put these practices that these people were doing into their life, all of a sudden age lines go away. I look younger now at 35 than I did when I was 28. I had furrows in my brow. I was beaten down. The modern life had gotten to me. And now, I do what I want, when I want, how I want. It helps people. I'm in love with life. I have passion. I have vision. I'm engaged in a way that's meaningful. And that's ultimately what people want, is to have purpose. But 
If we don't have energy, we can't live our purpose. If we don't have health, we can't even contemplate helping other people. If we're sinking, we can't help somebody else learn to swim. So, for me, raw food, veganism, is all about learning how to fly. Learning how to swim so that you can help other people learn how to fly, help other people learn how to swim. And it's simple, it can be complex if you like complex. If you wanna, you know, if you wanna make it difficult, you can do that. But it's already been figured out. Already so many people have figured out the pieces that work, what, do, what works, what doesn't work. Now all you have to do is come along and say, okay, I get to have all the best foods in the world, all the best flavors in the world. It tastes good, it feels good, and I watch my skin clean up. I watch the weight drop off naturally. I don't have to try to go on diet plans. All I have to do is do what I love, and it works. How soon can someone feel benefits? Immediately, starting with day one. S starting with the moment that you try a raw food meal and noticing that at that you know, an hour later, instead of feeling heavy, sluggish, like after the turkey dinner and whatever, you know, you've got to sleep it off just to send enough energy from the brain to the digestive system just to digest food. Now you're clear. And over time, as the weeks go by, as the months go by, as the years go by, every time a cell dies, it is replaced. We know this. Some cells are born and die every day, every week. Other cells have a lifespan of a couple of years. As you eat raw, every time a cell dies, it's replaced by building blocks that are far superior in tinsel strength and ability to accomplish their intended function. So over the years, you become replaced with incredibly live, raw building blocks that have ultimate highest peak potential lived into the world forever. Can we, get a, can we get a go raw? Go raw!